Kilo Bravo 8, Charlie Romeo, Cincinnati, Ohio, Echo Mike 79. Name here is Charlie. Roger, Roger, Charlie, and what radio are you running today, sir? Well, just got it hooked up. It's uh, 6600, and we're using a uh, file uh, PR7 All right, Charlie, if you would, uh, why don't you give me about uh, 15 seconds and tell me about your antenna system, and let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Okay, real good. Uh, Roger. Okay, real good. Through the uh, LSF coax to a uh, off-center fed dipole that's up uh, at the apex, about 85 feet up in a tree. It's in an inverted V. Uh, and uh, this is a new radio to me as of about an hour ago. So uh, I think uh, it's working okay. I just haven't uh, done too much uh, tweaking on it just yet. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, there's uh, a couple of things that you might uh, check out there. Uh, I would suggest maybe taking notes, uh, and then you can uh, work at it uh, at your speed. Uh, the first thing would be to verify that you're in that uh, 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. Uh, TBW, it's known as wide, 100 to 2900. That will let your transmitter operate as best it can and uh, then uh, give you just a slice of daylight uh, before you're into somebody else's conversation. So we recommend running that um, TBW at uh, 100 to 2900. You might uh, make note of that. Roger, Roger. Oh, yeah, that was one of the first things I did. Uh, we are running at bandwidth from 100 to 2,900, and uh, I see that the previous owner had uh, <laughs> changed the uh, transmit equalization a little bit, uh, so I brought it back a little more to flat. Yes, sir. Uh, well, gosh, if you well, let's do this. Uh, uh, we usually suggest uh, uh, compression on, uh, compressor processor on at a three out of ten, or thirty out of a hundred, just a third of the capabilities of the uh, processor uh, compressor. Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. Then uh, to your ALC with the mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, don't uh, stress it, just say it as you would say any other word in a QSO. And adjust your mic level until your ALC is running a two thirds or seven, whichever comes first. Two thirds or seven on your ALC meter as you say the word audio and adjust your mic, so forth. Roger. Well, things are a little bit different here. Uh, there is no ALC meter, uh, but <laughs> uh, I can see the uh, uh, audio level. And on peak audio, uh, we're about uh, minus 10 dB. Roger, that radio does not have an ALC meter. Uh, gosh, how do you set, uh, you know, I mean, it does not have an ALC meter? Roger, Roger. Okay, well, uh, then uh, what we want is, uh, you know, just uh, we want to stay uh, out of the red uh, on that uh, whatever device you have, uh, stay within within limits, but we want to be right up there, a skosh up uh, there, uh, but not, not over. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I'm uh, audio, uh, even on P. I'm uh, right about uh, minus 10 dB. 
Roger, that looked pretty good right there. I would call that the sweet spot right there. And uh, then uh, if you're familiar with your equalization, I would suggest uh, uh, punch up uh, your treble EQ uh, about uh, three clicks additional from where you are. Uh, you add yourself just a little more articulation and enunciation by um, uh, boosting that uh, treble EQ by uh, about three clicks, Roger. And uh, I have a little bit of a nasal voice, so uh, that may be part of the problem. Uh, but I, I've brought the treble up about three. Roger, now is that a hand mic that you're using? Negative. I'm running a uh, uh, Heil PR781. That's a Roger. But do you have a, a windscreen anywhere about that you might be able to use on that microphone? Uh, I don't know where it is. It might be down in the box. Roger, well, I would suggest that you slip it on. Uh, it would really prevent uh, any kind of mouth noises that you might uh, incur. Some some folks, <laughs> it's so bad that they actually QRM themselves by, you know, having so much mouth noise that, uh, you know, it's it just they just QRM themselves. Yours is not anywhere near that bad, but uh, I'm just saying, if you've got a foam windscreen to uh, put on that mic, uh, it would be well worth your while, Roger. At QSL, well, uh, we run primarily uh, satellite, and uh, that's why this radio is new. Uh, I, I have a, a satellite, and this one I'm going to be using for HF. Oh, Roger, Roger. Well, it's still, you know, mouth noise is mouth noise. Whether It doesn't matter uh, the band or, or anything, you know. Uh, if you're transmitting uh, on that radio with that microphone, uh, you could use a, a foam windscreen uh, that would minimize any, uh, a, you know, any undue uh, mouth noises, Roger. Yes, well, well uh, I'm the box. It, may, it, may, it may have come with one. If not, I can't. It's, it's a pretty uh, wide diaphragm on the microphone. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, gosh, uh, at your favorite movie, uh, I'm sorry, at your favorite music store, uh, in your choice of colors, and I think they're like about four bucks a piece, you know, you can get a red one or a blue one, green one, whatever uh, your f choice is, and uh, just uh, really, uh, really help uh, all the way around. You can you could actually almost swaddle that mic with that foam windscreen, uh, and it'll be all right. Roger? because I run a lot of automation on um, Node Red. But once I get that cleared up, I think this one's going to be a winner. Yes, sir. I just uh, pulled through my... Uh, my uh uh, SDRs, and uh, you're uh, hot in Pennsylvania right now. You're about 20 over up in uh, the uh, PA SDRs. So had a really good copy on you and uh, definitely need a little more top end for articulation. Uh, you know, and the, the ideal push frequency is uh, 2700. 2700. If you, uh, if your uh, equalizer is adjustable, I'd put it. Uh, take a note, if you would. I'd put it on 2700. Push of uh, three, th uh, three to four clicks uh, boost from where you are, at a width of four. If you can uh, control your width uh, on that equalizer, Roger. If you can uh, control your width uh, on that equalizer, Roger. 
Okay, I've brought up uh, between uh, uh, 2K and 4K that uh, you know, maybe it sounds a little bit better now. Yes, sir. So you uh, you do not have adjustable. It's uh, locked in 1KC, 2KC, 4KC, like that. I have adjustable. It's uh, locked in 1KC, 2KC, 4KC, like. Yes, uh, it's adjustable uh, only on the bands that they selected. You know, 125 hertz, 250, 500, 1KC, 2KC, 4KC, and 8KC. Oh, Roger that. So we want to be uh, flat in the mids. We want to be flat in the mids from 400 cycles to uh, 1.5 uh, uh, hertz, uh, kilohertz, uh, 1.5 kilohertz. We want to be flat from 400 to 1.5. And then uh, we want to, uh, we're going to have to uh, work out a little uh, a cheat sheet on that uh, 2 and 4K. Uh, on the 2K uh, plus uh, uh, 2, and on the 4K plus uh, 5. Uh, so that'll get you uh, there at about 2.7. Uh, so it'll be a plus 2 at uh, 2K and plus 5 at to 4K, Roger. At uh, 2K and plus 5 at to 4K, Roger. Okay, and that's where I have it uh, set right about now. So, uh, yeah, you can, I can listen to myself, um, you know, with the duplex uh, features of the radio, but uh, not until I put a second antenna on the radio, I can work it on the other uh, cycle unit. Uh, but uh, all in all, uh, you're sounding good here, and uh, I think we'll have to do a little bit of play, and I'll get this one tweaked up. Roger, Roger. Well, gosh, uh, that, that's what we do here. But uh, thanks for dropping by, Charlie. And if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 3,200, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Roger. 3,200, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. Roger. Okay, well, thank you very much. And you have yourself a good weekend. Uh, yeah, we just got uh, home from lunch, just in time for the radio to be delivered. Uh, it took about uh, 45 minutes installing it in the rack, and uh, <laughs> since then been playing with it. But we're going out tonight. I'll play with it tomorrow. Uh, Seven three for now, and have a good weekend. KC nine VKV. KBHCR Cincinnati. Thanks again and 73. Roger, Roger, Charlie, and uh, when you talk about putting that radio in a rack, I, I hope you have uh, a lot of ventilation, you know, that's the thing. Uh, these radios uh, do need some ventilation, and that's, uh, you know, it's, it's tough if you have stuff uh, very close on top of it and beside it and all that stuff. I would, I would uh, definitely uh, have some room for it to breathe, Roger. I would uh, definitely uh, have some room for it to breathe, Roger. Oh, it does. Uh, it's, um, uh, they have fans in, as well inside the rack uh, that suck in air in the front and blow it out the back. Uh, this is my second rack. Uh, the first one's been running for years. Uh, and uh, no, we have no problem uh, with overeating. Uh, I, I have uh, sensors in there that uh, vary the speed. Uh, of the uh, fan system, uh, but we've been doing real well with it for a number of years now. Excellent, Charlie. Excellent. Good, 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 good going there. So a lot of people forget about the necessity for uh, ventilation on these radios, and they just cram them in these holes uh, with uh, no space either side, top, or bottom, and just. Uh, you know, it, it just just uh, has no ventilation, and here's, well, here's, uh, you know, probably, uh, to get 100 watts, you're probably consuming 200 watts or 150 watts to get to get 100 watts, so you have a, a, a device that's uh, generating quite a bit of heat, 
And uh, these folks, uh, and uh, the worst thing I've seen is PAs, that they just put PAs in boxes. Oh, Lord, here's uh, like 800 watts, 1,000 watts, and you've got it in this, this uh, you know, box where it can't breathe. Oh, man, just asking for it, Roger. It can't breathe? Oh, man, just asking for it, Roger. Well, I look at it this way. I have way too much money uh, invested uh, to let them burn up so they get plenty of air. I'm going to have to run here. Uh, i got a few things I need to do. Uh, but thanks again, and I'll listen to the uh, uh, audio tomorrow. Uh, KC9 BKB, KBHC. Two Golf Echo Juliet. Roger, Roger, Charlie, 73, sir. And, uh, gosh, uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, uh, uh, give me a shout station. Gosh, uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, uh, uh, give me a shout station.